It's True Score Gaming, and today we are taking a sneak peek at Phase 7 over on the public test server. Stay tuned for more info. Hello and welcome. As you can tell, we are getting closer to an official release date for Phase 7, Compete and Conquer. We are currently in the final testing stages, which means you will all soon be enjoying the new Tennessee map. Here's a sneak peek at all the things you can expect. As you can already tell from the menu and the loading screen for the Burning Mill map, this phase is all about racing. There are several courses spread out throughout the map which feature a dirt race track, mud and crawler tracks, and a special racing contest exclusive to co-op mode. That last part is the subject of a heated debate going on now as many players are unhappy since up to this point SnowRunner's content has mostly been single player with the option for co-op instead of the other way around. To help keep the player base from completely freaking out, Focus Home Interactive has already assured us that the co-op exclusive content will be purely optional and will not count towards the overall game progression. This is good news for solo completionists. It's possible that this content may also be converted to a time trial format, but we'll have to wait and see what the final version looks like when it goes live. Burning Mills appears to be the only map coming out with this update, but that may change as there is a tunnel on this map that could be used as a gateway in a future update. Besides the racing themes, props, and sponsor boards found all around the map, the other new visuals you will notice right away are the hot air balloons in the sky. Quality of life improvements include improved physics for racing, enhanced suspension and vehicle damage, as well as improved cargo slot indicators which make it easier to see how many slots any type of cargo will use. There are two new vehicles being added in this update. The Azov 43191 Sprinter, which appears to be modeled after the Kamaz rally truck, this truck features built-in fuel and repair kit, a 350 liter fuel tank, 47 inch tires are available on all terrain, off-road and mud options, top of the truck snorkel option and racing package paint theme. The interior is very detailed as well. However, there are no trailer options for this truck as of the time of this posting. Next we have the Gore BY4. Featuring a rear engine, high clearance, and superior handling, making it a very unique and capable Scout vehicle addition, even when you have the large roof rack installed. This Scout only has a 50 liter fuel capacity, but the roof rack along with the capability to tow any Scout trailer makes up for that. Being a unique vehicle would not be complete without its own unique horn. <laughs> Aside from the new sticker options, that pretty much wraps it up for all the new features coming soon for Phase 7, Compete and Conquer. I leave you now with some exploratory gameplay from the new map. Let me know your thoughts on the new update in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.